Alfred Sisley was born on October 3rd, 1839, in Paris, France. His father was William Sisley, and his mother was Felicia Sell. William Sisley owned a business that transported fake flowers and silk around the world. Felicia Sell really liked to listen to and to play music. Alfred had four siblings, but one of them died at a young age. When Alfred was 18 years old, he was sent to London so he could study business. But three years later, he returned to Paris so he could study art and painting. Alfred loved to make art that was focused on outdoors and the beauty of nature. He painted in a style called Impressionism. That was art that captured one moment in time. He painted his impression of something. He used color in a way to make light bounce off of things. For example, he would put some yellow on a white house to capture the light. His paintings were different than other Impressionists because he only painted places that he had been to. If he hadn't been to the Eiffel Tower, he wouldn't paint the Eiffel Tower. The earliest painting that we know of that was done by him is laying near a small town. He used subtle colors, but they brightened up the painting. He painted it in 1864. His most famous painting is Sand Heaps, 1875. His way of putting a shadow to everything makes it look very beautiful. In 1862, he attended the National School of Fine Arts or L'École Nationale des Beaux Arts in Paris, France. There, he met two other famous painters, Pierre Auguste Renoir and Claude Monet. They would often paint together. In 1865, 66, 67, and 68, Alfred entered his paintings into the Salon Art Exhibit. They got rejected in 1865 and 67 but his paintings got accepted in 68 and 66. This was his first big break. When Alfred was 29 years old, he met Eugenie Lezouezic, who turned out to be his cousin. In 1868, Pierre Gaspar painted Alfred Sisley and his wife. Alfred and Eugenie had two children together, Pierre Sisley and Jean Sisley. Alfred and Eugenie got married in 1897. After his marriage, he painted On the Cliffs. Unfortunately, that was his last painting. One year after they got married, Eugenie died. Alfred was sick at the time. A few months later, on January 29th, at the age of 59, Alfred died of throat cancer. Right before Alfred died, he asked Claude Monet to take care of his children. My favorite piece by Alfred Sisley is A Forest Clearing, 1896. I love the composition of the painting. The way that he made the big tree off-center and the path off-center makes the painting very different. I also love the way that he added a person to his usual landscape style. Alfred Sisley was a good man, but mostly he was a true artist hero.